Between stars is interstar space and between galaxies is intergalactic space. It's hard to imagine how big these empty regions can be. If you were to head out of the Milky Way in a spaceship heading toward the Andromeda Galaxy, you'd have a journey of over 2 million light years before you came across another star or planet, except for the occasional object that had been thrown out of its old galactic home and was wandering around on its own. But there are even bigger empty volumes of space than those between one galaxy and the next. On a large scale, the universe has a foam-like structure. The walls of the foam consist of galaxies, which are organized into massive branching arms called galaxy filaments. These can stretch over distances of tens or hundreds of millions of light years. Galaxy clusters and superclusters tend to be concentrated where walls meet and intersect. Voids are the vast bubble-like regions between cosmic walls and filaments. They're the emptiest parts of the universe, although not entirely empty. They do contain a thin gruel of hydrogen gas and some scattered galaxies, but their density is typically less than 10% that of the universe as a whole. They can be anywhere from tens to hundreds of millions of light years in diameter. The largest of them, known as supervoids, measure a billion or more light years across. The closest void to Earth is known, not surprisingly, as the local void. It's at least 150 million light years across, and its nearest edge lies just beyond our local group of galaxies. Its size was estimated in part from observations of an isolated dwarf galaxy known as ESO 46136, located inside it. The bigger and emptier the void, the weaker its gravity, and the faster the dwarf should be moving towards surrounding concentrations of matter. In fact, ESO 46136 is rushing out of the local void at 350 kilometers per second. But there's another possible explanation for the dwarf galaxy's speedy departure. It could be that it's being pulled away by pools of dark energy that have concentrated inside the local void. The large-scale structure of the universe, the so-called cosmic web, with its walls, filaments and voids, is thought to have started from quantum fluctuations that existed shortly after the Big Bang. Early differences in density grew larger in scale over time. Regions of higher density collapsed more rapidly under gravity, eventually resulting in the large-scale, foam-like structure of galaxy filaments and voids that we see today. The simultaneous existence of the largest known voids and galaxy clusters requires about 70% dark energy in the present-day universe. The evolution of a void's shape is partly the result of the expansion of the universe, which is now known to be accelerating. Since this acceleration is thought to be caused by dark energy, studying the changes in the shape of voids over time can be used to test theoretical models of both dark energy and dark matter. <laughs>